Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Inspiron 7506 laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up, get inside, access your fan, heat sink, CPU assembly. Uh, if you need to replace those components because they're damaged, or if you want to just clean them, uh, maybe your computer's overheating, you want to clean the fan, maybe even reapply thermal paste. I'll show you how to get to that part of the computer in this video. So first thing you want to do guys, power down the computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged. We're going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. You have several bottom case screws here. You have these four along this edge, these three here, and then one on either side near the middle. Now, if memory serves guys, these four screws here, they have washers inside of them. So they're not going to actually come out of the computer. Um, just so you know, so you're not wasting time taking those out. After you get the screws out, guys, you're going to take a small, flat, plastic pry tool. I prefer plastic because metal tends to scratch the case a little bit more. Uh, but you're going to take your pry tool and go across the seam all the way around, pry off your bottom case from your computer. A little at a time. Be firm, but be careful. Don't put the pry tool in too far. You could damage some components inside. So just keep it on the edge, pry it open. Um, once you get that pried off, guys, you're going to notice one thing, just an FYI, this area in your bottom case right here is going to feel like there's some resistance there taking this bottom case off, like you missed a screw, uh, which there obviously isn't a screw there, as you can see. What that is, is it's this clip right here that actually clips down to your computer to hold the bottom case on. So you can force it off, um, or if you bend the bottom case out a little bit. If you, if you put your thumbs near the center and if you bend the outer edges up a little bit, um, that'll open these clips and the bottom case can come off easier. After you get the bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as another side point, guys, when I work on a computer, especially if, if I'm going deep into it, I have it sitting on anti-static pad. Um, either that or I wear an anti-static bracelet but those are great ideas to avoid damaging your computer when working on the inside of it. If you need any suggestions for tools or supplies, check out the link above. I'll also have it below in the description. It'll give you some suggestions on tools and supplies that I used on, on this computer. Another thing I do before working on a computer is I'll unplug my battery or I'll remove it. If you wanna remove your battery, there's these two screws here on the right, this one in the center, and these two on the left. Um, after you remove those, you can unplug it from here. Um, underneath this black flap, there'll be a white plug that plugs into the motherboard. You can grip it from either side with your fingernails or with a pry tool, and you can pull that down and unplug it from the motherboard. You can also unplug the battery from here. Uh, that just snaps straight up out of the computer. Uh, that's how you would un undo that. But either way, I would unplug the battery before working on it. This is your fan over here. This is your vent and your heat sink, and the heat sink goes all the way over here over your CPU. Now, some of you may have a model, as you can see, there's three screw holes here and sort of a, a, a chip set there. Some of you may have the GPU option, in which case you'll have another one of these assemblies with three screws over here that's sitting on top of your GPU. But either way, um, you would then remove these three screws, these four screws over the CPU, and then your fan screws. You've got one here, one here, and I believe there was one here. And then your fan plugs in right here, guys. And again, just like your battery plug, don't pull on the wire. There's a black plug there. You can put your fingernails on either side, or again, a pry tool, a pair of pliers, whatever, um, and you can unplug that fan. So that's how you access this assembly. That's how you would remove it. Um, if you're here to clean it up, at this point, you can blow out or vacuum out your fan, your vents really good. If you're here to reapply thermal paste, guys, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. It's a quick tutorial on how to apply new thermal paste. Um, you wanna clean the old stuff off really well, and you wanna reapply the new stuff in, in the right way. So if that's why you're here, again, there'll be a video link below in the description to show you how to reapply thermal paste. Okay guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. 
Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.